Hello there everyone and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at both the Vivid Storm 100 inch electric screen and the BenQ TK700 4K projector after one year of use to talk about the various pros and cons that I've picked up on. So what you're looking at now is the Vivid Storm electric tension floor screen which can be controlled remotely to raise and lower when needed. It also features an obsidian long throw ALR or ambient light reflection material which is especially handy if you can't fully black out the room that you wish to use it in. As much as having the screen available is fantastic, if you're not going to be using it daily then it can be quite a burden to store or move due to the sheer size and weight of the frame. As well as this, after dust gets into the device I started noticing various dents on the screen, which thankfully you can't see when you're watching movies or playing games, but it is definitely quite concerning. For the most part though, the screen works as good as new, it's quiet and it looks good which makes for some epic movie viewing as I'll showcase shortly. I do occasionally have this issue where the screen doesn't move which is very annoying, but removing the wall socket for a few moments moments has always fixed this for me. Moving on, the BenQ TK700 projector is running as well as ever. It's bright, vibrant, user friendly and generally looks fantastic thanks to its 4K capabilities. It has an incredibly low 4 millisecond input lag and can also run at up to 240Hz at 1080p and 60Hz at 4K making it extremely gaming friendly. Although at that 4K resolution, the input lag will reach about 16 milliseconds instead of the 4 milliseconds at 1080p. But other than that, the TK700 is flawless, aside from the hefty price tag of course. And what better way to showcase the two products than with some examples. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back and grab your popcorn. Honestly, I absolutely love this setup. The only thing I'm really missing here is a decent set of speakers to really level this up. But I've got to say, the projector's built-in speaker definitely isn't as bad as I expected. Not only that, but thanks to the quality of the screen, paired with the projector's 3200 lumen brightness, the viewing angles of the projection are fantastic. Every movie looked rich and vibrant with excellent contrast levels, especially in darker rooms. Not only that, but gaming with the Vivid Storm and BenQ combination was simply an awesome experience. With that incredibly low input delay and support for up to 240 hertz, there's no reason why you can't enjoy a whole variety of games with this setup. From epic single player experiences like Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher 3, to competitive shooters like Halo Infinite and COD, everything looks and runs great with this combination. As I mentioned earlier, the biggest issue for me is just the sheer size of the projector screen and how you store it if you're not using it on a daily basis. And as you saw, due to periods of inactivity, Dust managed to settle down the gap where the screen rises from and led to light damage across the width of the screen. But with that said, it absolutely does not impact the viewing experience, but it definitely is annoying that it happens so easily. I guess you could avoid this by applying something like masking tape across the gaps, but that's a real hassle to do over and over again. Aside from that though, the screen does an excellent job. It allows you to get the absolute most out of your projector without having to dedicate an entire wall to be a projector screen. But then you really do have to weigh up if it's going to be worth the $700 asking price for the 100 inch screen. However, on a whole, this pairing of products make for an incredible entertainment experience, whether you're wanting to watch movies, play games or even both. For epic movie nights, having friends over to play games or to watch your favourite football team play, there isn't many better ways to entertain a group of people than with a setup like this. Thank you. 
Overall, I would definitely recommend the BenQ TK700 projector thanks to its great specs and capabilities for both movies and gaming experiences. As for the Vivid Storm screen, aside from the few issues I had, I think it's a great piece of kit. I just wonder if the price is going to put a lot of people off. However, if you are interested in either of the products, then you can find out more at the links down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel if you're new. Thanks again, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya. Video.